it's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my March update for the Throwback 30 Project Pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab created by Jessica as a way for people to participate in projects that maybe they didn't get a chance to. Jessica, t I don't know if she'll do it this year. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> she goes back and she picks 30 different projects and we pick a prompt from each of those projects. So we've been working on 30 items, 30 goals, etc. And I am down to 10. And after <laughs> after my empties, I'm going to be down to, um, I think, five. So we'll see what happens. So let's start with the first one, which was the 12 days of Christmas. And I picked the partridge in a pear tree. And I brought in this. This is the First Aid Beauty Gilded Pear Body Wash. And it's finished. I mentioned in the last update, I thought I would finish this. I didn't finish it at the end of February. I ended up finishing it around the first week of March, I think. But um, I think I have five more. So yeah, if you're a pear lover, it, uh, I, I, they don't make this anymore. But if you see it somewhere around and you love pears, it smells really good, nice. That's empty number one. Prompt number two was 50 Shades of Painting, and that's the book or the movie or something sexual. And I had brought in this. This is the She Gam, the, the She Glam Liquid Blush and Orgasm. The blushes I have were before they um, apparently renamed them. I'm sure NARS was like, oh, contrary, for <laughs> So this was in the one Orgasm. I don't think it's named that anymore, but this is done. Hot diggity. I will probably, here's the thing. This formula is so good and it's so amazing, but you can tell that this, it stops like right here. So you can't get any of this down there unless you take the stopper out and you store it upside down. So I have another one that I may just decant into a little round container because oy vey. But anyway, this was beautiful. Definitely love it. Worth the $5. Um, yeah. I would repurchase, but I don't need to. Right, number three, or prompt in my list, um, was seven deadly pans, and I picked Lust. And for that, I brought in the, Nor the NARS Mini Orgasm Blush. My goal is to hit pan. It started out at eight. Yeah. And it's been seven ever since. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like. I will insert some footage. I used, I've used this, every time you've seen me in a pink eye look, even today, I've used this and the other blush in this project in an eye look and I still haven't hit pan. I am probably miles away from hitting pan. These are kicking forever. And I have been working on them since July. This started July 28th. It goes till July 28th this year. I'll probably end mine on the 27th. Um, but yeah, it's taking forever. <laughs> Number eight was Budget Beauty, and that's something from the drugstore, and I brought in this. This is my AOA Paw Paw Concealer. I've mentioned before, this is a holy grail. It's what's under my eyes today. I absolutely love this formula. It is just so, so, so good, um, and I am finally back to using it again. So when we started, this was 15. Last month it was 14, it's now down 13. So I've used about a gram. I just recently started using this though, um, probably earlier this week actually. So, and I've put on makeup every day this week, which is, whoa, but, whoa. <laughs> so yeah, I love this. This will definitely be repurchased later down the road. Next we have Drop 10 Before Summer and that was a summer themed product and I had brought in this. This is the Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics um, Illuminator and I brought it in because of the bicycle. In the last update I mentioned I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with this. I actually put all of this into a lotion and finished it that way. I didn't cut it open, not gonna do it. If it's a product that I really enjoy like this, we'll get cut open. This, nah. <laughs> That is the third empty of the project. Next was for Mean Girls quote, and I picked the one about Cindy Heron combat boots and Uggs or something like that, or camo and Uggs, whatever. <laughs> so it's something um, someone else is painting, and I brought in this for Jessica because this is the matcha green tea and wild apple blossom mask from Not Your Mother's. She said this is a holy grail. Mine's dirty from the shower. This is just about gone. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. I probably have about three, 
maybe four more showers or four more uses. So this started at 301, last update it was 125, it's now 75. And I need this to finish in the next couple of weeks because the next 50 shades, I have two huge air masks. <laughs> and they start in April, so I need to get this done. I use this on the days that I um, use my clarifying shampoo, and I normally use my clarifying shampoo probably once, sometimes twice a week, just depending on how much shit I've put in my hair. Like, this is day two hair, and it's got hairspray and mousse and all the things. So I will probably use a clarifying shampoo the next time I clean it or wash it, clean it, that's a weird way to say that. So anyway, uh, my goal is to finish this and I believe this will be done by the next update. The next one, praise the Lord. <laughs> this was Nightmare Before Christmas, so you picked something Halloween or you picked something Christmas theme and I picked something Christmas theme. I brought in the e.l.f. Uh, hydrating Camo, which color is this? Do I own glasses, where did they go? This is in Fair Warm. This, oh, I hated it. I hated it so much and I have a whole other one. My issue with this, that was a sneeze from my husband. My issue with this is it's so flippin' crepey underneath my eyes. It just, I've never been one that had to set their under eye with powder and every time I wore this on my under eyes, I had to set it with powder. Um, I started using it along with my Rare Beauty foundation because the Rare Beauty foundation is just a tad bit dark. So I would mix it in with that. I was doing whatever I could do to get this done. And I'm gonna do whatever I can do to get this one done too. So luckily they're not, it's not a whole lot, but you don't need much, especially if you're gonna use this on your under eyes. So I much prefer the Paw Paw Concealer on my under eyes and I am glad to have this done. So that is the fourth and last empty. Okay. Next we have painting games. So I had a huge box of samples and I pulled out this. This is the Laura Mercier blush. This is another blush I am trying to hit paint on. This is another blush that I use every time I do my eye, pink eye look. And I've got a nice little dip, but this actually says it went up from five to seven. Who the hell knows? <laughs> Scales are so particular. So again, my goal is to hit pan and I don't, this may be the last two standing because Jesus, Mary and Josephina, we have what? Five, four more months? April, May, June, July. Yeah, four more months. So they're gonna have to get their shit together. They're gonna have to. I'm very cursy today. I apologize. Don't clutch your pearls, it'll be all right. Okay, say good day to Project Painting. I picked Dangerous Animals, a product that makes you feel fierce. And I brought in this. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. My goal is to use this up. I did try to shine a light through it, but there is just no seeing through it. There's no seeing through this bottle. So I'm wearing this today. I've been mixing it with the Elf Flawless, Flawless Finish. These two together are beautiful. You can tell that they're both a little too yellow for me. So now that I know that I'm more of a neutral undertone, I will start buying, um, it looks like I'm right here. There's, I don't know. There's no way of knowing. Anyway, this started at 155 and 157 and it is now 138. So again, my goal is to finish but I've been mixing these two. And I really, this is a really good foundation. Six, it's like $5, it's good, I like it. I like it a lot. And then last but not least is, um, was um, my Tarte Frosé blush. And my goal for that was to wear off the pattern. You may remember from the last update that it had like a chunk of it missing. It shattered. The rest of it shattered. So there's no pattern to wear off and there's no blush. <laughs> I am... <clears throat> That's the only bad thing about depotting. Like the blushes I depotted became really fragile. The mattes from Glamlight I depotted became really, really fragile. So yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's gone. It went to blush heaven, and that makes me a sad panda. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. 
So that is my update. So let me do some counting because you guys know I'm really good at math. Okay, so I have... One, two, three, four, five. I have five problems. <gasps> five problems in five months or four months. I know this one's going to end next month. So maybe we'll go in like May, maybe June, but I don't know that we're going to make it to July. We'll see. Again, these blushes may take forever. And if you missed it, I'm doing 30 days of purple for the month of April because April is my birthday month. I want to wear, I want to try to wear makeup every single day. And I thought, you know what? Purple is my favorite color. Let me just incorporate some purple. Plus I have six, six or seven purple eyeshadows that I'm trying to hit pan in. So yeah, so these may not get much work on my eyeballs, but they will get some work out on my cheeks. But that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well and that your projects are going well. Let me know if this is one that you're doing or that you hope to do um, for 2022 into 2023. That is still so weird to say. Yeah, I, I can't believe how much progress I've made. And um, like I said, these, these blushes will probably take a while. This will take a while. Um, the foundation will take a while. So yeah. Yeah, the only empty we should have next time will be that mask, but that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, I hope you will consider subscribing. I hope you have a fantabulous day, night, weekend, wherever you are. Love your faces, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. You guys know I like to leave you with a song, but I've sang all the songs that have been stuck in my head the last few videos. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure.